Mm-hmm. Figured I'd try something a little bit different for you guys today, make it a little bit more of a daylight vibe in here rather than the like super dark moody studio that I typically do. Anyways, a couple months back, I traveled out of the country for the first time in well over a year to Tulum. And it was a much, much needed escape from reality, like really just a chance to breathe and relax and find new inspiration in a part of the world that I've never been before. While I was shooting content there, I wanted to make it a point to avoid using the pre-production tools that I typically always rely on for my work. Things like having a well-formulated storyboard or a shot I wanted to make this trip like an actual vacation, like a chance to really relax and not put pressure on myself to create or shoot certain content. There was no end goal. There was no real intention or desired outcome. And not only is this just like a good general practice, but in a lot of ways, it can really be therapeutic. The one caveat though, is that it does make things a little bit difficult when you do actually decide to edit and you know do something with the content that you shot. So today I wanna show you guys how I use music and color to help bridge this gap and also create emotion in my work. After getting home and going through the footage that I shot on the trip, I was honestly really, really happy with the way everything turned out and the way things were looking. This was the first like travel project, like full video that I got to shoot on my Sony a7S III. And so the footage turned out really, really amazing. And so I knew I wanted to create something and share it with you guys. But having no storyboard and shot list leaves us kind of in a little bit of an awkward position with knowing where to begin. So the first and most important step was to analyze the footage, you know, bring it all in to resolve, go through things and determine the mood and the feeling that it created for me. Like, does it have a lot of energy or camera movement? What frame rates did I shoot in? What was the lighting like? What were the natural sort of ambient colors like? Like looking back on everything, what sort of like emotions and mood does it put me in when I look through all of this stuff? Since this was like a super low pressure project, I really kept it minimal with my shooting setup. The Sony a7S III with just a couple of my Tamron zoom lenses. I shot basically everything handheld and so there was a lot of that really nice natural organic camera movement. Tulum had this incredible mix of just like beautiful textures and lots of really high energy and a color palette that would just make anybody feel happy on even their like their darkest days. Incredible like vivid greens of like the jungle and the blues of the ocean and soft oranges and magenta like in the evening with sunset. It was honestly just like so picturesque. In order to keep that like natural organic feeling that I had there, I wanted to shoot mostly in 24 frames per second, but occasionally for certain things I used 30 or 60, which would be slowed down to 24, just to add a little bit of variety. Analyzing all of these details in the footage and watching things back and finding my favorite like hero shots, it became really clear to me that I wanted to convey that sense of like curiosity and joy and relaxation that I felt while I was there. And so I went through and cut out select of all of the footage and threw that onto a timeline. And so now, great, like here we are. We have this giant timeline with all of these cut up snippets of this footage that I shot while I was there with no framework really. So it's like, where do we go next? It may sound simple, but I pieced together this entire thing simply by just finding the right song for the footage. It's pretty obvious that certain tempos, instruments, and sounds can evoke certain emotions within us. Happiness, sadness, nostalgia. I mean, most of us listen to music on a daily basis to alter our mood or as a way to relieve stress. And there's a science to explain all of this. Music can lead to a release of neurotransmitters such as dopamine. Our bodies naturally internal rhythm like our heart rate will speed up or slow down and essentially become one with the music that we're listening to. Not to mention that lyrics can often resonate with experiences we've had and really put into words 
feelings that some of us may not be good at expressing for ourselves. Ooh, like science and emotions and stuff, right? But knowing all of this, when I find the right song, it helps to push me toward a script and a layout and defines like a pacing and story. Music allows me to better communicate my vision to you guys without even necessarily needing to say a word, especially in a situation like this where I didn't use any of those pre-production tools to help me build the video. Music like 99% of the time is the first thing that I fall back on to help me find and create that spark. I get a lot of questions from you guys asking about where I find my tracks and the tool that allowed me to find the music for not only this film, but countless other of my videos is Artlist and they're the sponsor of today's video. Artlist offers a seriously impressive music library filled with tons of high quality music from talented independent artists. And it's music that you'd actually enjoy listening to unlike a lot of other royalty free music platforms out there. Like stuff that you'd actually hear and be like, Oh, like I'd, I'd listen to this in the gym. They keep it super simple with a yearly subscription that starts out at $1.99. And the thing that I love the most here is that this price covers licensing for all uses. I mean, we're talking not only things like personal projects and YouTube, but also commercial, TV, podcast, like freelance work, all of that stuff, you name it. It's one license, like super simple. You download it, you can use it forever, wherever you want. Even if you guys don't have a subscription and you wanna just check out the library, you can download watermarked versions of the songs to test them in your project. Even send it to clients for approval for a commercial project. New music is added daily. The library is always growing. I frequently just pop on there and listen to music and download them into a huge folder. So I always have access to them kind of regardless of what project I'm working on, just like a big stockpile library. So back to finding the music for this video, we analyzed the footage. And so I already knew what mood I was going for. And so I was able to narrow down the search criteria on Artlist to the electronic genre, and then also tossed in kind of that carefree, uplifting mood. This process definitely took some time listening and testing, refining searches. A quick tip, when you're trying to browse through the library quickly and skim through tracks, you can actually use X and C to go forward and back on tracks and then use the arrow keys to kind of skip around. It makes things way quicker. But eventually I stumbled upon this song and the story came together almost immediately. I'll admit, at first I was a little torn because I wasn't sure if I wanted a track that had vocals. I kind of wanted to find something instrumental, but the guitar made me feel a certain sense of nostalgia in the blend of electronic drums and vocal samples really just added to the depth and style. The more I listened to it and watched back my footage, I began to really enjoy the vocals actually. It's upbeat with a nice build of energy without being too in your face and it has enough ambient room to add lots of sound design and really layer underneath it, which is a huge thing that I look for when I'm finding stuff for my videos. So I brought the song into my timeline and began to break down the song structure and really match it to my footage. Listening to what parts of the song really resonate with the mood within the shots. A little trick that I've found to aid in this process and kind of speed things up is to just lay the song underneath all of your selects and then duplicate it as many times as you need and just simply watch everything through and you'll begin to find certain shots that connect with parts of the song. I also broke up the song a little bit and kind of mixed certain sections around to better fit the duration of the video that I wanted. Once I had a good grasp on everything, I was able to begin piecing together a rough cut. Color, in my opinion, is one of the best ways to convey an emotion through video. And while sound also plays a huge role here, we can really do a lot on the color grading front to totally change the impact and feeling of our footage. As many of you know, I've now switched fully over to DaVinci Resolve. So color grading this project was a ton of fun, especially as it was the first project that I've shot kind of fully on my Sony a7S III. But just because we shot an S-Log3 and 10-bit doesn't mean that we need to go overboard on the color grading. As I said before, the colors in Tulum were naturally very vibrant and bold, so there were a lot of very beautiful tones to work with in the footage. So I wanted to create a really 
organic and natural feeling look. Really play on the colors that were in the environment, emphasizing on the greens and the blues that were so, so present there with a subtle touch of that muted film sort of feel. Bringing down the overall white point and allowing the image to sit a little bit lower in the scopes helps to give the highlights room to breathe and really helps keep everything feeling a bit more moody without being like too over the top, like travel vibes, if you know what I mean. It's definitely a stylistic thing, but for the soundtrack and the pacing that I created, I think it fit really nicely. It can be super tempting to really push the hell out of the colors in our videos, especially when we shoot in log or even raw, like, ah, we have all this data, we gotta use it. But in reality, when it comes to color, taking the time to create refined, mature looks with natural colors can really go a long way. Creating this piece in a lot of ways was incredibly important to me. Stepping out of my comfort zone initially and shooting with no structure was incredibly freeing and really, really therapeutic. I was able to create emotion in this video without many of those predetermined components by simply relying on sound and color in the long run. And I hope shooting with this concept in mind can be freeing for you too. So if you have the creative freedom or you need a creative push, let sound and color guide you instead of a plan. I think you'll be surprised with what kinds of things you can come up with if you try this for yourself. Thank you.